I was just about to cut my pineapple for snack time, so I thought I'd make a quick video to give you a quick show on how it works. And what we're going to do is start by taking our chef knife. This is our forge cutlery. Okay. And we're going to cut off the base so we can make it nice and flat. There we go. And we'll just put that aside. I'm cutting today on my large cutting board with the wells. So what's going to happen is all the juice will actually drain down these wells and catch in our little um, drain at the bottom. So we'll just cut the top off, same idea. We'll just stick that aside. Okay, now that we have cut our pineapple, I'm just going to take our pineapple wedger and take it off of the base. I'm going to line up the core. Okay, and when it's lined up with the core of the pineapple, we're just going to start rocking it back and forth. have it perfectly sliced and cored pineapple ready for use. So I'll give you a little hint. I actually love to take the core of our pineapple and instead of tossing it out I stick it into my infusion water bottle because there's still a lot of flavor in that core. So the next tip I have for you is to take our apple core wedger and just line it up. This pineapple's really ripe, so I might have left it go a little too long in the ripening, but you'll notice that that fits perfectly into our apple core. You'll have these perfect pineapple strips. So, again, it's a little bit more ripe than I would have liked for cutting but this is gonna be delicious it smells so good that was our pineapple wedger our apple wedger and our cutting board with the wells a handy tip so i put some of this pineapple into my infusion bottle I'm a sipper, so I load up all the fruit on top of the strainer. If you were a chugger, you'd put all of the fruit on the bottom. So now that I've cut my pineapple, I'm just going to pour the juice from the well right into my infusion bottle. Doesn't that look delicious? Thanks for watching.